California, the land of sun, surf, and dreams. For decades, it's been a global symbol of opportunity, innovation, and natural beauty. But beneath the glitz of Hollywood and the tech hubs of Silicon Valley, there's an unsettling question many are beginning to ask. Is California doomed? Today, we'll explore the critical environmental challenges that are reshaping the future of this iconic state and what that might mean for its 39 million residents. The threat of rising sea levels. One of the most pressing concerns facing California is the rising sea levels. Over the past century, the global sea level has risen by about 8 inches, but it's accelerating at a much faster rate now due to climate change. For California, with its vast coastline stretching over 800 miles, this is a serious issue. Cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego are at significant risk of seeing coastal erosion and flooding. Scientists predict that by 2100, sea levels could rise by as much as 7 feet if global carbon emissions are not curbed. This would devastate low-lying areas, especially those built on reclaimed land, like parts of the Bay Area. In fact, a report from the United States Geological Survey estimates that sea level rise could cost California over $150 billion in damage to property, infrastructure, and ecosystems. The effects are already being felt. Communities like Del Mar and Pacifica are grappling with increased flooding, forcing city officials to consider moving entire neighborhoods inland. While some coastal areas are working on mitigation efforts, like seawalls and artificial dunes, there's a growing consensus that not all of California's iconic beaches and coastal towns can be saved. The drought crisis and water scarcity. Beyond the rising oceans, California is also facing a severe water crisis. The state is in the middle of what many experts are calling a mega drought, a prolonged dry spell that has gripped the western US for over two decades. But in California, this isn't just a lack of rain, it's also about how the state manages its water. California depends heavily on snowpack from the Sierra Nevada mountains, which melts in the spring and supplies water to much of the state during the dry summer months. But climate change is altering this delicate balance. Warmer winters mean less snow, and the snow that does fall melts faster, resulting in less water storage. To put it in perspective, California's snowpack was 40% below normal in 2023, an alarming trend. With reservoirs shrinking and rivers drying up, the consequences are far-reaching. Farmers in California's Central Valley, which produces over a quarter of the nation's food, are struggling to maintain their crops. This, in turn, leads to increased food prices and threatens the livelihoods of thousands of agricultural workers. Urban areas aren't immune either. Cities like Los Angeles have implemented strict water restrictions, including limits on lawn watering and fines for excessive water use. Meanwhile, entire communities in rural areas have seen their wells run dry, forcing residents to rely on water deliveries. Wildfires and extreme heat. Another disaster that has become synonymous with California's climate woes is wildfires. In recent years, wildfires have become larger, more frequent, and more destructive. The state's fire season, once confined to a few months, now seems to stretch year-round. The combination of prolonged drought, higher temperatures, and stronger winds creates a perfect storm for fire outbreaks. Take 2020, for example. The state experienced its largest fire season in recorded history, with more than 4 million acres burned, an area roughly the size of Connecticut. Fires, such as the Camp Fire, which destroyed the town of Paradise in 2018, have left lasting scars on the landscape and local communities. The damage isn't just physical. The economic cost of these fires is staggering. With billions spent on firefighting efforts, rebuilding communities, and compensating for lost homes and businesses. Then there's the toll on public health. Wildfire smoke can drift for hundreds of miles, impacting air quality for millions. In 2020, the smoke turned the skies of San Francisco, an apocalyptic orange, as air quality reached hazardous levels across the state. The root cause? Again, it ties back to climate change. Hotter, drier conditions fuel these fires, and without significant action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, these destructive events are likely to become even more common. Earthquakes, the unpredictable wild card. While climate change is fueling much of California's environmental crises, we can't forget the ever-present threat of earthquakes. The state sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, one of the most seismically active regions in the world. Though earthquakes aren't directly related to climate change, they add another layer of uncertainty to California's future. The San Andreas Fault, which runs the length of the state, is particularly concerning. Seismologists warn that a major earthquake, often referred to as the big one, could strike at any time, causing widespread destruction. 
the economic impact of such an event could be catastrophic, not to mention the potential loss of life and the strain on emergency services. With so much attention on climate issues, some worry that earthquake preparedness is being overlooked. While retrofitting buildings and updating emergency response plans are in place, many parts of California's infrastructure remain vulnerable to a major quake. Political and economic ramifications. So what does all of this mean for California's future? Climate change isn't just an environmental issue, it's a political and economic one as well. The state's booming economy, fueled by tech giants' agriculture and tourism, could be in jeopardy. Rising insurance costs, driven by wildfire and flood risks, are making it harder for homeowners and businesses to operate. Some insurers are even pulling out of the state altogether, leaving residents with fewer options. Politically, California is at the forefront of climate action, with ambitious goals to reduce carbon emissions and transition to renewable energy. But these efforts face significant challenges. The sheer scale of the crisis means that even the most progressive policies may not be enough to prevent the worst outcomes. And then there's the issue of inequality. Wealthier areas may have the resources to adapt, but low-income communities are often hit hardest by climate disasters. Can California be saved? Is California doomed? That's a difficult question to answer. On one hand, the state faces enormous challenges, rising seas, dwindling water supplies, devastating wildfires, and the ever-present threat of earthquakes. But on the other hand, California has a long history of resilience. This is a state that has bounced back from natural disasters before, and it's home to some of the most innovative minds in the world. There's also hope in the fight against climate change. California is a leader in renewable energy, with ambitious goals to phase out fossil fuels and reduce emissions. Efforts to restore wetlands, improve water management, and build more resilient infrastructure are already underway. Ultimately, California's future will depend on how quickly and effectively it can adapt to these new realities. It will require bold leadership, global cooperation, and a willingness to make difficult choices. California is at a crossroads. The environmental challenges it faces are immense, but they're not insurmountable. The question isn't whether the state will face these problems, it already is. The question is whether it can adapt, innovate, and persevere in the face of mounting threats. The fate of California may well be a preview of what's to come for the rest of the world as the climate crisis continues to unfold.